And now top Congress sources tell CNN News 18 that uh, Priyanka Gandhi Wadra is supporting Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu. Remember, there is a lot of uh, uh, agitation and anger against the Chief Minister by the Congress MLAs and some MLAs at the meeting yesterday openly said that uh, Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu was running a government by cautery and it was impossible to meet him. But we're learning that Priyanka Gandhi Wadra supports uh, Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu and six cross-voting MLAs uh, say that they will come back if the Chief Minister is changed. So this is the condition that has been put forth by the rebel MLAs. Now 20 more MLAs say the name, uh, say the same uh, to the top leadership that the chief minister should be changed in Himachal Pradesh and uh, Congress President Malik Arjun Kharge and Rahul Gandhi also spoke last night over the whole matter uh, that is happening in Himachal Pradesh. CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh and Arun Dhanta are now joining us on this story. Uh, Pallavi, coming to you first, Priyanka Gandhi Wadra seems to be supporting Chief Minister Sukhu when there is clearly a lot of anger by the MLAs against him. Yes, I mean, things are certainly getting tougher and tougher for the sitting chief minister. And in fact, we are being told that yesterday when that meeting was taking place late last night at a private hotel, all knives were out. Not just those six MLAs who've given only one condition to come back and work amicably with the government. And that is the removal of Sukhu as CM. At least 20 other MLAs also made a similar point when they said that he runs a coterie, a government through coterie. He's completely inaccessible. Uh, he does not listen to us. There's no coordination between the government and the party. And this is going to have a deep impact on the Lok Sabha elections. And their demand too was that the only way you can, uh, uh, the only way you can uh, redeem the situation is that in case you change the chief minister. But you also have to remember there's a BJP on the other side. The BJP is very clear on this that the government has no reason to continue. They would want a cross vote, uh, they would want a flow test to take place, Anjali. They would want the government to fall in that matter and fresh elections are held, I mean, simultaneously with Lok Sabha. So I don't know if this solution which is being offered of two deputy CMs and a change of the chief minister is actually going to salvage the Congress government because the BJP is mounting pressure clearly on the governor and also on the Sukhu Sarkar. All right, Paravi, please stay with us. Uh, Arun Dhanta also uh, is joining us on the story. Arun, so uh, leader of opposition in Himachal Pradesh, Jairam Thakur, uh, was at the Raj Bhavan earlier today. What happened? Well, see, uh, uh, Jairam Thakur uh, has been uh, making uh, this point, this this a point that uh, the Congress government has lost the majority, and therefore. Uh, BJP is planning to bring the no confidence mo motion in the assembly and uh, he is citing uh, the yesterday's yesterday's result of Rajya Sabha uh, elections where uh, he is saying that only 35 uh, 34 MLAs are with Congress party uh, when the majority mark in the 68 members assembly of Himachal Pradesh is 35 so therefore he has been uh, saying this and in fact he also raised this point that he uh, <coughs> wants division of votes especially when uh, in the passing of uh, budget happens because uh, usually what happens during the passing of budget is that uh, the voice vote is is counted so in that uh, uh, you know speaker uh, gives it uh, open opens the floor for uh, the members to give their opinions and uh, you know uh, more often than that not, not it it happens that uh, the the government side the treasury benches have more uh, more more voices and therefore uh, it uh, declared pass but now what the opposition what uh, jairam thakur uh, is wanting is the division of votes where there will be the counting of votes which will be later on reflected on the screen so therefore according to him bjp wants uh, electronic voting wh which will then clarify the exact number of mlas on uh, on on both sides so this has been one of the demands of jairam thakur and when he All right, uh, Arun and Pallavi, please stay with us as we're getting some 